If you're a gamer, then I'm pretty sure someone has said this to you before. Stop wasting your time or life playing video games and go do something more productive. Due to the social stigma of video games that they are only for kids ever since the 1990s, video games has been viewed as a negative thing. Back then, if I told people I wanted to stay home and play video games, I would be considered a nerd or a loser. But just in case you're new here, not having to quit video games is the objective of this channel. So no, by the end of today's video, you will not be going to do something else that's productive, but instead be playing video games knowing six benefits that you can get, of course, in moderation. And also subscribe and enable notifications to stay updated weekly if you haven't already. Before we begin, just out of curiosity, what is your experience when you tell others that you love gaming? Let me know in the comments. So here's number one. Video games improve your cognitive skills. Research has shown that video games increases gray matter or in other words, brain mass. Because video games often present gamers with scenarios that require quick decision making and reactions. This stimulates the prefrontal cortex and cerebellum in our brain. Over time, this stimulation makes the prefrontal cortex more developed than a person who doesn't play video games. And as a result, makes the player have better cognitive planning skills and able to anticipate the right way to carry out a task or reach a specific goal. As for the cerebellum getting stimulated and trained from playing video games, reaction time and hand-eye coordination are also improved. In the research, two control groups with one group playing video games for 30 minutes a day over a two-month period, they were faster in identifying objects hidden within a picture and also were able to track moving objects more accurately. Try this, keep your eyes on the blue balls and when they turn yellow, tell me if the ball that the arrow is pointing to is blue or not. If you're a gamer, then you probably already know that the, the ball the arrow is pointing to is blue. I've also tried letting my wife practice driving in video games and after a few months of practice, she actually drives better in the real world. The second benefit of playing video games is that it slows mental aging and decline. As we age, our minds gradually lose executive function, generally considered the mission control for critical mental activities such as memory, attention, perception, and problem solving. Studies show that loss of executive function occurs as people reach middle age with a few as soon as 28 years old. In another research by the University of Iowa found that people aged 50 and older who play just 10 hours of a game priming their mental processing speed and skills delayed declines by as many as 7 years in the range of cognitive skills. And a group that got 4 additional hours of training with the game did even better, improving their cognitive abilities by an additional 4 years. So next time your parents tell you to stop playing, invite them to come play together to keep their brains fit as well. <laughs> Number three, did you know that video games can also improve your memory? This is another interesting finding from the research that I came across when researching on this topic. Using MRI, scientists saw growth in subjects right hippocampus who play video games. When playing video games, this part of the brain plays an important role in how we process and consolidate information including short-term and long-term memory. This is mainly due to video games requiring both visual and audio memory such as memorizing a map in the open world or competitive game to gain an advantage, or audio cues for an input of action. And constantly stimulating this part of your brain, you will be keeping that part of your brain responsible for memory fit. If you don't use it, you'll lose it, right? Number four, video games can help you learn a new language or skills. Remember Typing of the Dead? It was a House of the Dead remake, but instead of shooting zombies, you had to type words on top of zombies fast enough to shoot them or you'd lose health. This game helped me so much in practicing in improving my typing speed. And also when you play games in a foreign language, you will be constantly exposed to that language that eventually you'll be able to learn a few words and sentences over time. For instance, when I played Blade and Soul on Taiwan servers, my Chinese was not used in a very long time, that I started the game not being able to make out much of the quest details. But because the game forces me to read it in order to progress, I literally played with a dictionary by my computer. And after about half a year of playing, I could read and type Chinese really well again. So no more being bored in front of language books and doing boring repetitive actions to improve our motor and language skills. Isn't that cool? Number five, 
Games can be a good channel for managing stress. Video games can provide us with a safe and fun outlet for developing em our emotional awareness and coping skills. One study from Behavioral Science Institute in the Netherlands studied proficient gamers who were playing StarCraft II to determine if their in-game coping mechanisms were related to their overall stress levels. What they found was that several players who became upset during gameplay found useful coping strategies to handle their negative emotions. And if you are not into competitive and stressful gaming, doing something you love for fun is also a good way to release all that stress accumulated inside of you from throughout the day. Number six, actually meeting and making new friends online. From all these years of online gaming, I've actually met some nice people around the world and even visited some of them during my off hours on my business trips. With friends from other parts of the world, you can broaden your perspectives while learning about a new culture as well. And related to number five, sometimes it is nice to have friends you can talk to about your life while playing video games. And the best part from my experience is, from playing cooperative games, the synergy that is created when you and your friend try to accomplish a, the same goal is extremely satisfying. So go out there, be nice, and make some new friends. So now that you know these six benefits, it does not mean you should go and play as much as possible. Playing video games in moderation is the key here. As with everything else, too much of anything is always not good. Staying up all night, every single night to fight off zombies may not be the best thing for your health so, and, or so is playing video games and disregarding import, other important priorities. Alright, wish you the best in enjoying video games and thank you for watching and your support as always. Hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video, subscribe and enable notifications to stay updated and I'll see you again in the next video.